And the Portage County Board of Elections is reminding voters to make their voice heard. Our flashcast starts now. This is TV2 News. Hello and welcome to today's Flashcast. I'm John Cost. And I'm Alex Taylor. And last night's GOP debate, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz were ganging up on Donald Trump. Instead of Rubio and Cruz attacking each other like they've done in the past, they created an anti-Trump force and only fought against him. Known as the City of Bridges, Pittsburgh is home to 446 bridges, which is three more than the former leader of Venice, Italy. You can see all this debris behind me that fell from 30 feet above, landed on the car, shattered the windshield, and one of the bricks even went through the roof, through the metal, and landed right near the baby seat. There's no such thing as a bad seat at Heinz Field. The two-tier design offers more intimacy and people to get closer to the game and their favorite players than they are in any other NFL stadium. Organizations like the NIC and NPC have formally withdrawn their support of the bill, and some are even calling it the Unsafe Campus Act. PNC Park is the fifth home to the Pittsburgh Pirates, but is known around the world as one of the most beautiful ballparks in baseball history, overlooking the whole city of Pittsburgh. Officials say the E. coli levels are elevated, but they're not quite high enough to shut down the beach or keep swimmers out of the water. But that could change if those levels continue to climb. I'm here in downtown Cleveland where the parade is just getting ready to start for the Cleveland Cavaliers after their national championship win. But I will tell you, we have been out here since 4 o'clock this morning, and this is not the first we've seen from the fans. Good evening, guys. I'm here at the Idora Neighborhood Farmers Market for opening day, and this is the third annual market season for Idora Farms. Let's take a look at what was happening. Election night began with a very expected start, as many states were favoring Clinton, including California with a whopping 55 electoral college votes. But then the night took a surprising turn when Trump won the battleground state of Ohio. 19 year old DeMonte Graham, who was convicted of shooting and killing a Kent State University student, has been sentenced to death row. Graham is believed to be the youngest defendant ever to be put on death row in Portage County history. Police say the man shot in Charlotte, Keith Lamont Scott, had a gun, but family members are saying he was carrying a book. The extremely high winds last night left about 7,000 people in Portage County in the dark. Starting this fall, members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning community here at Kent State will have the opportunity to dorm together. Corb Hall, which is now one of the freshman dorms, is being turned into the new LGBTQ Commons. A former Marine took action at Ohio State University during the active shooter incident on Monday morning. Bobby Fair used his training to help keep his classmates safe. Wildfires are still raging across the West Coast with no end in sight. Yesterday, the Loma fire caused more evacuations just south of San Jose, California, but some residents are choosing to stay. Students around campus found some of the commercials to be a little bit on the strange side. Alex Farrell was involved in an attempted robbery on April 9th that ended with the intended victim shooting and killing one of his attackers. Farrell is a student at the UK College of Arts and Sciences Department and graduated from Rootstown High in 2015. Farrell turned himself in to police Tuesday evening. A piece of fake news about President Obama was reported on Sean Hannity's radio show yesterday. Rumor had it that President Obama deleted endorsements of Hillary Clinton from his Twitter account. Another source wrongly claimed that Barack Obama and Elizabeth Warren had both unfollowed Hillary Clinton. This Portage County Board of Elections show unofficial yet complete results of the levies being defeated in Waterloo, Field, and Ravenna school districts. Superintendents of each district announced they would speak to their Board of Election about a return to ballot. On September 5th, April Goss made history as the second female ever to score a point in a Division I NCAA football game. I just think it's kind of crazy to look back at it. You know, I've been on the team for four years and been waiting for this moment for such a long time and to just realize that it, it's happened and, you know, I did it. Once she realized her kick was good, Goss said it was like a moment from a movie. Thinking about it like last week, um, like Rudy is one of like my favorite movies and I like watched it all the time, especially when I was preparing for my child. And just to imagine like I got to live a moment like that and have an experience like that and something that I'll like remember for the rest of my life. In addition to the celebration when her kick was good, Goss says she has always felt part of the Golden Flashes football family. April came out and did what, you know, most people wouldn't, and she's been here long enough to go through everything we go through, so, I mean, it's, it's every, anything is possible, so 
Just whatever it is, just go for it, you know, and and it's going to be difficult, like that's a given, you know, and, and it's going to be hard and there's going to be days that are going to be worse than others, but it's just like continuing to just strive. Goss's road to success was not a simple one. She says she's relied heavily on her relationship with God to give her motivation. It wasn't me that got myself here, like ultimately it was the Lord and I can't take credit for this because you know, I'm just the body and, you know, he's the, the person that's, you know, doing everything through me. Goss said there is no barrier between her and the boys on the team, that they are her brothers. It's kind of crazy and weird because we really have a girl on the team, but it's cool, you know what I mean? She always keeps us straight and she always gives us another option, you know, to think about when we anything's going on and stuff like that. It honestly feels just like another teammate, you know? It just feels the same. It feels like she just, you know, we're just, a part of the family, you know, so. Goss says she no longer lets people's criticism or approval define her, but she can always count on her team for an extra source of encouragement. And we realize, like, I really don't need anybody else to believe in me. As hard as that sounds, like, it was very humbling, but it was good. I wouldn't change it at all. Reporting for TV2, I am Alex Taylor. Right, right. <laughs> I'll be honest, though. I'm kind of mad about the Cavs. I agree. We get free Dunkin' yeah. Donuts coffee when they win. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And so, like, I've been missing out on my free coffee. I've been missing out so. on that, too. I didn't even get the memo. Oh. Just a little bit. I might have to adopt one of the dogs myself. I know. They said there's still five left, and to call if you're looking for one, they're just so cute. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying pizza sounds better to me. <laughs> well, thank you for watching today's Flashcast. Be sure to tune in to TV2 News tonight at 6 for all these updates and more. And be sure to tune in tonight at 9 for an all-new episode of KS Universe. I'm Macy Kittleberger. And I'm Alex Taylor. Have a great day, Portage County.